What is good, Foundation Nation? We're out here at Camp Hideaway for another round of Imposter Disc Golf. This game starts with each player drawing a card to see what role they have. Three regular players and one imposter. We'll use Silas as an example. They'll be playing a four-man alternate shot format on 11 holes at Camp Hideaway with the goal of shooting even par. <sighs> one player will be trying to sabotage the group without getting caught. That's in the middle. That's perfect, Silas. If the team shoots even par or better, or they can figure out who the imposter is, they win. If the imposter makes them shoot plus one or worse without getting caught, he wins. All right, if you haven't watched Imposter Disc Golf, I highly recommend going and watching any of them. They're a blast. You just saw how the rules are gonna be played. The line that is set out here is even par, one through 11 on the white tees. Pretty difficult when playing alternate shot like this. It's time to draw cards and see who's the imposter. Like, which card is up? the imposter? Make sure you shuffle it up real good. I don't want any funny business. So we've got Robbie, Connor, myself, and Hunter. <laughs> Uh, I've got four ripped, ripped uh, revenge cards here. One of these cards is the foundation challenge card, the darker one. These are all just orange ones. So I'm gonna shuffle them up. I'm gonna shuffle them up. Maybe I'll have everybody give it a little shuffle. Yeah, give it a little shuffle. I don't trust anyone. And then we will uh, each draw. And then this is the most terrifying moment of our day. All right. All right. You find out, am I gonna be trying to play this golf today or kind of trying? Oh, oh, oh. Hit him with it. Well, I don't want to look. I don't want to look. Trevor's so counting scared. cards. I don't want to be the imposter. I don't, I don't, I don't even know what I want. Honestly. I really don't. I've been the imposter well, one. Sure one is Hunter's favorite. Thing. I did have no, fun Trevor's being the imposter, favorite. but I don't think anybody's going to trust me ever again. Dude, I'm like shaking. I really don't want to be the imposter. I'm going to make I'll the same face no matter what. Do you want to try it before you look? Uh, <laughs> ah! oh. okay. All right, everybody. Look at your cards. All right. Okay. Now, I have viewed my car. I know what my role anybody. is. I have it. Do not show your cards to anybody. Not Keep them safe. Them. I choose you, right. Zapdos. You just go youngest to oldest. Are oh, you go youngest to oldest? Why are you gonna go youngest to oldest? Oh, okay. Or you go oldest to youngest. I don't care. Why are you gonna go oldest to youngest? <laughs> you think I'm the imposter? I think we flip. It is gonna go myself, Robbie C, Connor, then Hunter, and uh, going last. The way we will do this is it will be alternate shot. <laughs> Um, the only way your turn doesn't count is if you're tapping out from like 10 feet or closer So that way you don't just like not throw any real shots I can't wait until we find out that you're the imposter so I can be like, oh, you stabbed me in the back with your dagger or oh, like that. Ooh, that. Ooh. He puts with daggers. Okay, we're yeah. on the puns back here yeah. He's gonna go forehand off the first tee just trying to get it <laughs> to the basket I don't think there's really that much nuance to this hole. It's just like try to get it through there Imposter Oh, sure, Trevor. Yeah, I mean, like we believe that you did that on accident. I mean, it wasn't a good throw. We didn't warm up. That's but... a little on the nose, Trevor, for a whole one. God. I can't wait to give Connor a 25 footer and miss it. And we just I can't wait to give the... Connor a seven and a half footer. <laughs> we're going to be going after Connor. Oh, man. Yeah. I think we're just going to gang up on him. Whenever I'm like trying to prove that like I'm not something that I'm not, then I'm just going to shake the whole hey, time. Be who you are. All right. That's, okay. that's a good I shot. I like it. Well, it's actually okay. Did get through. Oh, it's great. Oh, that's great. Okay, we're good. Shot. We're good. good we'll learn something. Good shot. Woo! <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, Connor. Oh. Wow. He called it and then almost jumped out of the basket. <laughs> big par. Hey, that was a big par for, for Team Good Guys. Hole two. Old. This is going to be Hunt's tee shot. First throw. Dead straight. This is only like 230 feet, so we really could use the... Uh, wow, look at that. I've never seen water there before. Wow. Yeah, oh, there's wow. definitely water rushed down here because it's all debris across this. Well, first off, disc choice. Hunt, this is Hunter's normal disc choice. He's not trying to... Not trying to Typically, I'd go yeah, on a proxy, but I took the proxy out of the bag. Why is the proxy out of the bag? Because this disc was getting too straight. Wow, and so they, 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 they overlap. Wow. They overlap. Yeah, that is so. pretty crazy. No, no, I, I like okay. it. I like it. I believe magic. in you. Mm, yeah, really straight disc there, Hunter. Oh, oh, oh friendly ah, kid. What was that? What was foiled that? Foiled your plans. <laughs> you think, foiled your plans. You think I'm good enough to hit the line like that and know it's going to hyzer out? Yeah. One down. Oh, here we go. I like getting birdies early because that's going to mean from, from this point on, the imposter needs to make us bogey now. Like yep. we have to bogey I do like twice. That. And then it'll be easier to find out who is the imposter. Exactly. This is going to work out well, I think. Obviously, as a local to uh, Lynchburg, it's 271 off to the right. Uh, looks like a forehand. You can, either, you can either push it long or cut it early. So that like middle tree that is the decision tree. Yeah. Okay. So and I there. would just throw it on a hyzer and then let it choose for you. <laughs> That's typically. That's I what I do. Aim at that tree and just let my body do what it wants. Okay. 
throw a forehand and you saw it off a little bit, you'll be okay. And I want stability though, right? Yes, you yeah. want to get right. Not like crazy overstable, but like. Pushing hyzer is a good option. The basket. I want felon, not avalanche. That's, yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah, you, you can, can see, see the basket. Through the tree. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh. We can't judge his disc decisions very yeah. well. Uh, the felon, I'm still trying to decide between this and those moonshine orbit ones oh, that like look really cool because sometimes they grip onto my finger. Uh, and the moonshine grip some days, this one grips others. Here we go. That felt like, uh, that felt like a little bit of a that setup like there, Robbie. Really excuse. Okay, we're back to well, the fairway. Let's right. middle the fairway. That's, that's why I went felon. I don't know about all that. That's why I went felon. I don't know about all that. Robbie's a better forehand player than that. A little bit of a setup. You're standing on my bag. Can <laughs> <laughs> I just throw the hydro right there and it'll skip near the basket? I don't know if I'm going to give you advice. Whatever gets you closest. I don't think we can be given out. I think we learned from the last two videos that we can't really hand out a ton of advice because that makes it too easy. We got to let people decide on their I'm own. Try to help our score. I want to be close. Them. We don't know that. To the basket. Well, I'm telling you though. That's why I need advice. I think I'm going uh, zone OS either way. No, I think I need to be wise and just throw the hyzer. Put me close. I'm honestly worse at throwing forehand hyzers than I am forehand anti shot Same. But there's a gap here. There's which seems ball. like the lowest percentage shot, which makes me seem You're imposter. You're overthinking it. Just I am. Overthinking I am overthinking it. Hey, that's great. Oh! Oh, oh no! Hey, interesting, Fantastic Connor, shot. Thank you. Thank Rolling you. it off the cage like yeah. that, dude. Real interesting choice there. <laughs> I don't that, was, that, was that was great. Good. Thank you. Dag, knob it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that. I mean, it was your first putt of the day, and it was a pretty long putt. Yeah, I mean that that was uh that was that was a long putt. And yeah. you definitely got it there. It's also very humid out here, so it's the it's sticking like, capabilities it's like, gonna, are very Obviously possible. we're all gonna note it. Did it. Stick on my finger, we're gonna dude, we're gonna we're gonna jot it down in our mental <laughs> yeah. notes, but it's not condemning. Yeah. That, that Should we, easier than we not cool. count the putt? Yeah. What? Should we not count the putt as a throw then? It was outside ten it was feet. Outside That's what we said. Yeah. That's what we said. I just don't want to putt on this hole. Okay, so Backhand Normally, y'all just well. go backhand right up the middle. Typically, I try to hyzer flip, hyzer flip, but back. a forehand's a good option, too. If you get past the valley, yeah, it's not you, that If bad. you get past the valley, you're, you're you should fine, be able to get yeah. up and down. Yeah. I, 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 I'm going to be honest. The backhand gets me is a better shot of getting near the basket, but mm -hmm. also we all know that a backhand could bring in, could bring in so many more things. Yes. So I'm going to go with the forehand to, to play for the par. All right. Like and yeah, if like, it, we wouldn't want to get birdie. We don't want birdie. Yeah. Well, I, well, no, it's fine. He said he he can hit the gap with the forehand. So if he doesn't hit the gap, there's he's not really any. This is why if you explain your reasoning, it's just gonna draw not even suspicion, but just nonsense from us. So yeah, that's true. You might as well just not explain yourself. <laughs> oh, that uh, disc? We're not going. Oh, yeah, you're going pink? Yeah, touch the disc. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, Robbie. Now that. that we does. can get up and down from there, Connor, right? I don't know. Dear heavens. You can get up and down, right? I mean, Interesting. that's 875 feet to the right. Strike two. Yeah, that's two strikes from Robbie Simpson. That is. Okay, I'm not throwing another forehand the rest of the day. Uh, <laughs> no tee shot forehand. Okay, I kind of like this. Like if you let, him cook, it, let, let him cook. cook. Let him cook. Let him cook. Let him cook. My bad, my bad. Let my him, bad. Let's my see bad. what he's up to. Yeah, that's perfect. Come on. Yeah. What? That's a good no, shot. That's fine. That's a good shot. He's got to make this a clear. Pressure's on. This will get you out of bed in the morning right here. These putts. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah. They call it big hunt. Oh, that was a good putt. Felt good too. I think my putting's back. I don't Bro, I'll carry your bag with the next one. The, the imposter knows if they got to make one bogey happen, they can do that really easily. We need to get them one under. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Very important hole for my tee shot here. This is a 360 foot par four. It's frankly, it is eagleable if you throw a really good drive, but just got to make sure we get the birdie here. I'm going to go Wraith. So I'm not going to go like as fast as I could, but I'm just trying to flip it up on the right side. Oh, I went inside. That's okay. Oh. Get up. That wasn't the Trevor Stop special. I'd be really it went. It went pretty far up there. I think we'll still get up and down, yeah. but it, it came out early. I don't have a lot of thoughts. I am not the imposter. Um, I don't have a way to prove that to you, but I'm not. I would say if I'm the most suspicious of anybody right now that I'm keeping an eye out for, it's Robbie. And mm. it's not just because he's thrown a couple bad shots. I'm, I'm, 
we're human. He's that's normal, but it's his personality. He's like, I noticed him on this tee trying a little too hard to be like, if I make the putt for eagle, then the the imposter's really sweating. And yeah. so I feel like that was like a little too eager, you know. All right, Mr. Cameron, let me give you the lowdown here. Every time before, I've gotten the same extremely confident feeling, and every time before, I've been dead wrong, but I still have it again. I'm here. <laughs> it's got to be Robbie. So first off. On hole three, he sets the stage telling us, yeah, you know, the felon I'm going with here sometimes hooks onto my finger. To do, hooks it onto his finger, grip lock. Next hole, dead straight forehand, chooses a really overstable disc, and doesn't put it on enough Anheuser, fades into the right stuff. Granted, he did mess up where we told him to mess up. But then what, uh, those two, I was like, kind of suspicious. Well, locked on my suspicion is on the T of hole five here. This is a very, very, very tricky green. He was saying, give me an eagle putt, I'll run it. Like, give me a chance for an eagle, give me a chance for an eagle. In this game, you don't want to run that eagle putt. Mainly, it's a mound, you're sitting on top. If we had an eagle look from like 50 feet and Robbie ran it, really easy to get basket height and sail past, guaranteeing a four, which would be a par, versus just taking the easy birdie. That mindset, I think, is not a team player. I'm on to you, Robbie. Once again, never mind. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> Smart. So far, everything good that I've said good is stop. Uh, incriminating. Yep, yes. good stop, good stop, good stop. Good stop, good stop. Such a good I shot. I love that. Such I love shot. that. You have to be a freaking idiot to miss that. Huh? Well, nice. answer that. I'm hey, so good. Here we go. Hey, we are on hole. What hole is it? Six. Hit him with it. Hole six, six and it's yeah. 256 feet. Allegedly. Lie. It's like 350. Um, it it plays really far because it is <laughs> consistently uphill the whole time, and your disc can easily get maneuvered into the woods on the left because of it increases the stability because the hillside i'm going to throw this disc kind of a like little like a uh, little prototype disc oh connor's got secrets mm. and throwing a secretive disc. are you just in a secretive mood <laughs> i just i i have been throwing this disc really well the one round i you thank you thank you saved his life the one round i played with this disc i was throwing it really well and i think the flight is going to be great for this hole well, let's see it so i'm going to attempt to throw it well i haven't really released it yet either you so i think this, that'll be man. nice just you got this oh my goaded that was a great throw come on come on great oliver that was a great throw. skip for him nice right, i got a putt Dude, Dude, connor oh, is building yes! a resume right I got now a gut. connor is building a resume we all concur lay up just take the par yes. stay one under i would concur yes. with that just making sure before I did it, and then everyone's like, oh, why not? I think the run on this hole brings four into play. I agree, because even I if, I soft, if I soft bid it, there's risk. Excellent. Nice. Fantastic, Blake. Oh, look nice. at that. Nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, this is a, this is a difficult hole. Um, hole seven. Playing is a par four, I believe. Yes. Uh, so we need to get it. Key shot is kind of difficult. I usually throw the forehand through the right gap. Hunter would usually go backhand through the left gap. That is what I do. Realistically, I should be able to throw that. I, I don't know why I don't throw the backhand through the left gap. Oh, wow, that's, oh, wow. that's a that interesting Mixing decision. it up. But, right but considering that I always throw the forehand, I'm going to throw the forehand. Because you are good at those turnover shots, though, but you also early release occasionally. Yeah, that's where, well, that's where my miss was, so that's why I threw the forehand. I'm not going to go against. That was an epiphany I had, but we'll save that for later. Yeah. Right now, i got to stick to my game. i got to stick to my game plan right now. Yeah. Oh, He's not the imposter. He's oh, that was kind of That was goaded. That's an easy three, right? That's, That's an incredible yeah. shot by your boy. That was a good forehand out of me. I'll say that. I'll be about to make another birdie. We should. We're going to be putting the imposter against the wall because we also have another easy par three coming up. Then the difficult holes. There will be a finishing of three pretty difficult holes. So there will be opportunities for the imposter. I haven't found out much yet. Robbie's thrown a couple bad shots. That's like the, everything I have to go off of right now. Hunter missed one putt, haven't seen enough. I think the imposter is biding their time because I think that's always the smart play. However, the more we keep making these birdies, they're gonna have less time to do that. So I think that if we make birdie here, especially if we get a birdie on the next one, that's when it's gonna be time to really pay attention because they're gonna start sweating a little bit. I'm also, I'm looking for the guy who just seems to be pondering a lot to themselves. You know, if you're not the imposter, this is very straightforward. You're just playing disc golf. You gotta yeah. be thinking a little bit about who's doing. If I were the, if the imposter, I kind of go silent from time to time. I might, I might be really thinking in my head, walking ahead of the group. I don't know. Kind of looking for that right now. All right. It's not throwing his own OS here, Robbie. It seems very impostery. We all know that as, they aimed as, the, they just built the pig off of the zone OS. We all know that. And I think I'm the only one without a zone OS in my bag? Yes. <laughs> well, that says everything you need to know. Brody Bush. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. I like fine. it. It's fine. Oh. Hi, I, like, I love that Connor has that putt. 
I don't even like, it's funny because in my mind, I know that if Connor misses that, I'm not learning anything really, but it's still funny to watch it happen. <laughs> so at this moment, the issue is I am not playing great golf uh, and that doesn't help. I've not thrown anything but forehands. So the first time I have to throw a backhand, I already know it's going to go horrifically wrong. <laughs> and the resume is not great. So a lot of suspicion going on me, but I also haven't had to putt yet. If I were to get, if I were to name someone, I don't think it's Connor. Cause I think if Connor were the imposter, he'd be so nervous. Mm. So it's gotta be one of the bogey bros. Here's the thing, not really a big deal. Not a really big deal for your boys. Oh, yeah. Wow. What is the deal? I can, tell, right I can tell my body wants to miss right, but my body, my mind won't let it happen. The imposter has to be sweating right now because we are, we're putting them in a real tough spot. My body is throwing it in. Very important hole here. What hole is this? This hole eight is a birdieable hole, very much so. So if I can throw this, I'm throwing MX1 here. I'm gonna try to throw it on a little bit of hyzer. Get through probably the inside gap, which is now wide open. If I can put us close here, we birdie this, we'll be at what, two under? Three. Three under. This could be. This and we'd have to curtains. go four over through the last three holes. So this could this could seal the deal here. I'm just oh, being caused to question everything right now because I feel like that's a lot of speed. But also, there's my MX1? Wrong. There's nothing wrong what, with that. What am I going to throw? My no, Zone you're right. OS? I'm just being honest about how my mind's feeling. If but I go Zone OS, it's awful. Not hit a first it tree finishes to good. the left a lot, doesn't yeah. it? It bends to the left a lot. That's why I was confused. But I threw my PA3 here? But he just put uh -uh. his disc in his bag. I'm sure I can find examples of it. I normally throw my Zone here. Yeah, I, but my ESP, my ESP zone's too straight. My zone OS dumps too much. I, I feel right. like this is in between. It's not a crazy choice. I just, I just wanted to put it out there, you know. Yeah, it's I ludicrous. Think, I, don't crazy I just want everybody to start there talking. It is. It's perfect. He's incredible. It's in the basket. Ah. Oh, oh big God. skip. I cordially invite both of y'all to suck it. I feel like that's gonna be close. It wasn't me. I'm, I'm not sucking any. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're parked. This won't even count as my turn. And this is going to put the imposter in a very tough spot now. We'll be three under, which means we have to make four bogeys with three to play. So we need to make a double and two bogeys. Not looking very likely. That was making that scary happen this, in my please. life. Oh. Well, you got to write like ace, almost ace number one. Like I told you so. You just, I will not doubt Hunter. I need both signatures on this. What does it say? I will not doubt Hunter again. You can you sign next to the X, either one? I cannot sign this because you hit a tree and that's why you were parked. Here you go. My Sharpie. It's an imposter stuff right there. Things may be looking grim for the imposter right now, but I will say this is their best opportunity because we have a long, downhill, tight par three. Trevor's so really good at this hole, making, uh, yeah, I, mean, I usually do fine on this hole because I can throw my rock flat and just kind of let it coast down there. I'm just trying to get us down there to where we can make par at the very worst. But this, I will say, this is going to be a big opportunity because there's a great chance that we don't end up in the fairway. But... That's perfect. Told you. Perfect. A little in the basket. It kicked left at the end. It's like a jump putt. That's so like, that's just job done. Have have fun, imposter. Good luck with that. I think the imposter might be dangerously close to just like it's curtains. Since it's like almost like impossible the at this point, has to he strike. just needs to reveal himself and start ruining everything because that'd be way more fun. First putt of the day, right? First part of the deck. I was asked. I was I'm asked just... that question. <laughs> Bang! First part of the day, easy. Because if Robbie was the imposter, that was his last chance to do something forgivable because it was his first part of the day. The fact that he made that puts me in a corkscrew because I don't know what's going on now. But it's not gonna matter, like I don't even have to guess. We're gonna get the line. We are on hole 10. This is a 370 foot par three. 270 foot say, par three, that? that is my bad. This is not the easiest hole in the world Which because one? you can see it's down there on that rock mound. Uh, which often has snakes yeah, on it, snake a castle. snake mound. Ooh. And you have to really throw, if you want to get to the basket, you have to throw a flex forehand. Ask me, yeah. Silas. Yeah. Connor, are you really good at flex forehands? Connor, are no. you really good at flex forehands? Not typically. Why if are I you go, still thinking about just, it? Because you're going to win no matter Connor, what. Connor, just jump putt me yeah. next to those trees. I can throw a forehand yeah, we are going to win no matter okay, what. Okay, then should I, should I just throw a, a safe backhand? I, sure. Fine. Just I don't, don't. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It, it, I, wherever point, you put me, I can get us where we're getting them yeah. down for bogeys. We would have to take two double bogeys in a row. Beautiful. No! Stop! That's fine. That's, okay, fine. that's fine. We're good. We're good. Yeah, we're good. We're we'd good. have to literally go truck. That's oh, yeah. And the mountain? He's going to miss it again. Oh, oh my. My ESP zone was nice. Mighty suspicious. I mean. I
Everyone, I'd like to bring something before the court, and I'd like to do it publicly. I don't think it's going to matter, because I don't think we're going to vote. But we're going to vote no matter what. If yeah, we're just voting. voting. I would like to gather as many people as I can on my team to vote for one person, so we're not all split. The voting isn't going to matter, though. It's just for fun. Yes. You go ahead and say it. It still okay. matters to me. So okay. what you need okay? to say. Yeah. On the last hole, before everybody else got there, Hunter said, Oh, you're good. Just put me close within 10 feet, and then I can get us in a really good spot in the next hole. Yeah. And I think that's because he knows that as the imposter, his best shot of getting us to get the most drugs as possible is to have this tee box. No. Because, it's because my you best can do the worst things off this tee and not know. It doesn't matter. So I'd just like everybody else to know that that is an that is something that I observed that why I would noticed. I throw, why would I throw a good shot on eight? Yeah. Why would I make the putts that I could have easily missed and not had a question Listen, mark on I me? I don't think it's what obvious who it is right now, so I feel like I just had to put that information out there. The reason I wanted yeah, the tee here. Yeah, we need The reason I wanted the tee here is I have gotten so far down this hole the last like five times I've played it, and if I get down towards the bridge, it's literally impossible to lose. He is well, very here, good this hole. Here's the bottom. Line. I felt like out of everyone here, so I was the best there. at this hole. I wanted this hole. That's fair. Yeah, we had to take eight. eight. Which, so I made in fairness, is fairway. possible. That's why I wanted the tee, is if I made it more than halfway down the fairway, which I was confident I could, we are not taking an eight. If we get down the That's why I wanted it. That's now all, second time Connor's questioned me as the imposter. Is, so I have hard. questioned him twice, <laughs> it is true. Okay, this is hole 11. Weren't you just trashing on the ESP sting? No, because it's flippy. I can stand it up and ride it right down the middle. That's why I'm going to put a hyzer on it. That's fair. That's and fair. stand it up. This is the, the hand motion you showed me was, Dude, you ever that, careful, Trevor? <laughs> That's what you did. Trevor, you that's, better be careful. That's We're what not I need. taking an eight here, even that's if Robbie's. Robbie's got daggers I'm just in his razzing. Bag, Yeah, he does He's have daggers. Yeah. I'm just razzing. We might make an eight. <laughs> <laughs> is it me next? See? That didn't no. get that, that one. That started I threw my unit. That I've thrown yeah. that shot so many times uh, on this hole. There's no way of knowing. Oh All right. Very respectful play there. Nice. I think I just go Thunderbird. And just pump it and try to get it across the bridge because that'd be or one, two, three, get up and down for a bit. Just don't go in the water. As long as I don't go like, like as long as I make forward progress to that tree, even we're getting up and down for an eight. So I think we're fine. It's game right there. Yeah. It gets over the creek. Yeah, I mean it's just formality. Uh, exactly what it's I formality. Said. Here's the good news: is even if I lay this up in worst case scenario, it triples into the water. We drop, tap in, we still win. So no pressure here. Don't want to throw it in the water though, just for the sake of less incrimination. Perfect. Oh, perfect. This is just going to be a fascinating voting process. Doesn't matter though. We're, the the good guys win. This Keep in mind, the good, good guys, guys have won. Yeah, yes. this is just for fun because much like you at home, we're we have no idea what's going on. This is the first time the line has been. We've done three of these now. This is the first time that the line has been achieved to where the vote is more just to figure out who failed, mm. and that's kind of fun too. Here's the thing. Obviously. I have a couple, I have two theories. I don't think it's Hunter, just really don't. Well, okay, I actually have a reason to believe it could be everybody. Hunter, the MX1 choice on the whole, he made a big spiel about it with the Sharpie and whatever. I really do think he goes, he does throw his zone, but I think in a, I think he was trying to get himself past the basket there. But there were other putts he could have missed as well. Connor, the biggest case against Connor is, I think there's a great chance that it just got away from, if it was Connor, I think there's a great chance it just got away from him. He's never been the imposter. He hasn't done this since the first one. I think it could have just gotten away from him. We were playing well. He didn't know when to pick his moments. He threw good shots. And I think I think it might have just been like it got to a point where it was too late. He didn't have enough important shots. There was nothing he could do. I also think there's a chance that he tried to miss one of his putts right and just made it. I think that's possible. Oh. I, he made some good putts, but maybe he tried to miss one. I could have done something like that. Hmm. Robbie had the strongest case. He's never played imposter. He threw some bad tee shots early, some not great shots. He didn't have to putt until the end. The only crazy thing is he had a putt on hole nine. It was his first putt of, of the day. He absolutely could have missed it and it wouldn't have been completely condemning. It would have been pretty condemning, but if you're the imposter, that was desperation time. And he made it, he drilled it. That was very weird to me because he was like my top candidate until that point. You know, I don't feel as much pressure voting this time because we already won. So it's not like the imposter gonna be like, ha ha, they failed. So I think I'm going to lead with the idea that it was Connor and it got away from him. It just, the score got too good. He just realized there was nothing he can do. He was the first one to bring up changing the, the rules behind the game to maybe make it more interesting. I'm gonna go with Connor, Connor's my mm. Okay, here's the deal. I was kind of like razzing Connor towards the end because it's fun, because he was razzing me, so I was razzing him back, but it's, it is Robbie, 100% Robbie, for the reasons I gave earlier. And then as we got more into the course, he became like a little bit more of like, so what's the what's the next hole? And what are, what are we throwing here? What, what score is this right now? Stuff that wouldn't matter because we, we had won by so much. So I think it's Robbie. 
I think that he. What about his putt? On I nine? think he tried to miss the putt on nine. He just oh. happened to make it. Is what I think. Either that, or he knew it was over and just like didn't want to get voted because like you still have like a little bit like well at least I fooled him, but you didn't fool him the right way. But I mean, there's too much. the The only person that did uncharacteristic mistakes this whole round was Robbie. Everyone else, like if there was a mistake, it was something I've seen them make multiple times. And then later in the round, they did a good shot that like counter out. We're also such bad putters that like if Connor or Trevor were trying to miss putts, you could literally airball a putt or like hit the pole, and it like really wouldn't draw that much suspicion. I think Robbie tried to chain out the putt on nine because he didn't want to draw a lot of suspicion and accidentally made it. That's my theory, it's Robbie. The most obvious one to me is Robbie because he's really the only one that threw shots that cost us. But I also know that they very much could have been mistakes. Now his really high Anheuser, where it faded out like halfway through the flight, that was pretty incriminating. But I also feel like he would have gone a lot more aggressive these last couple holes. You ready for my conspiracy, Silas? Yeah. I think right here, nobody brought it up. I don't think Hunter's ever throwing that disc on that upshot he had on this hole. I think he knew his only shot of getting us to get strokes was going OB in the creek. Look how close he was to the OB in the creek. He was right there. He was about five feet from being OB in the creek. I think there's no reason he goes with that overstable of a disc. And I think he knows that. I mean, he went with an overstable Thunderbird, and that's never the disc he's throwing there. I think that he was trying to go OB in the creek. Obvious one is Robbie. But I'll hurt the most if I don't vote Hunter, and it is Hunter. I'm going to vote Hunter. Here's the deal. I think that, like, if you really look at it, Hunter, Play great golf today. Had the most opportunities, made most of them. Connor, here's here's my argument for Connor, is that when Connor is nervous, rather than shanking it, he kind of just had to turn everything off for a second, and then he just was making putts. Like when he's when he's focused on like succeeding, he doesn't. But when he's focused on missing, maybe he misses, or maybe when he's focused on making, he misses, and when he's focused on missing, he makes. That sounds really mean for the Kayak Break 86 series, but that's the best theory I have because I'm quite confused. So who's your vote? My vote is for Connor. It's time for the vote. Uh, obviously, vote doesn't matter, but it's still suspenseful. I'm still in suspense. Basically, the way this can work, the bag's laid out there. We have Robbie's on the far left, then Hunter's, then my own, and then Connor's. We will, one by one, place a putter in the bag that we are voting for. This is just kind of to, to reveal how we thought about things, but obviously it's, it's ceremony. It's, it's ceremony. It's the good guys have won. I'll go first. That I respect is interesting. that. I respect that. It is dramatic though. I'll go second. I have my theory. I support dramatism. Oh, the switcheroo. Oh, I love this. I love this. Give me the vote. Come on. Let's let's spread it around. Well, it's obvious. Connor. That is very interesting. It's it not me. It's it was not, not me. Connor. Obviously, it, I didn't. It wasn't me. Wrong. It was not me. Robbie. It was me. <laughs> <laughs> that was most like, obvious. It was, like, it was very yeah. obvious. I yeah. called it on hole three. You think back to this, people. I tried to shank literally every shot that I could. I shanked my drive on two or three, and uh, it got back to the fairway. That's a bummer. Uh, I should have <laughs> thrown the felon, and then I threw the avalanche. Like, oh, yeah, this thing's going to get way right. And it did, but there was open. Uh, Connor <laughs> threw a great shot. I tried to fade that pig out so early on the four <laughs> and it was right up there the, the polecat upshot i literally was trying to square i looked at the line that had the most trees and i went here we go baby and Did it just pure put on nine all the way there nine at that point i was like if i miss this putt on nine just wrap it up like yeah. the boat is done connor erased literally all of my i mean it was definitely like and i said to the camera i was like you threw the worst shot I, like the polecat one that's one i could have never known but that's hilarious yeah. that you try that to square funny. that tree that up. Funny. That happened to Silas when he was the imposter. The hardest gap on all of the new London 10 loop, he tried to rip it into a tree and he pured it. Yeah. And like sometimes yeah. that happens. We are not good enough at disc golf. That is, that's crazy. Hunter, I would be happy to sign your disc now. I will never doubt you ever again. I apologize. I'll still no, go. no one can sign it. I'll, I'll sign it while Sorry, you're Sorry guys. I hope that you enjoyed us playing really well. Let us know yeah, in the comments. Let us know in the comments if you enjoyed Imposter Disc Golf. Always let us know if there's a course and a line that you would recommend or anything you want us to do with the series. More but rules. Yeah, or rules. Um, I think we have a decent system. It's just sometimes you try to mess up and you throw a good shot. Or sometimes you're the guy scrambling after you does well. So that's kind of imposter disc golf. This is the first time we've actually gotten a line, so that was new. Um, but we'll probably do these like once a month or so uh, as long as you keep enjoying them. So we'll see you in the next one.